Hey guys, it's Corey from Laboratory again, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Isan 3mm filament from Poppy King. So this is a cheap filament. It retails from around 12 to 13 dollars AU, which we get to US, I think it's about 10 or 11. It's PLA. You can get it in ABS. I've only used PLA so far, so this review will be solely based around the PLA version. The packaging itself is quite nice. It's actually quite slim, and when we buy a lot of bulk stuff, we end up taking up a lot of shelf space, as you can imagine. So being a thin package is quite nice. Opening it up, there's no space wasted. It just fits exactly inside the box, which is good. And of course, like all PLA, it is vacuum sealed to stop moisture getting inside. So far, I've used the white, black, and yellow versions of the PLA. The filament itself is quite uniform, which is good, and I've had no nodding so far rolling it off the reel. Quality of the test prints has been quite surprising. I've done three test prints on high speed, standard, and high detail. The high speed obviously did the worst out of the three test prints and that was only really on a couple of areas. One being the bridges, which it wasn't really uniform and straight, it was starting to sag. And just overall in the detail, just obviously being thicker layers. The standard detail worked quite well. I really couldn't pick any differences between that and the high detail, other than the fact that this one took half the amount of time, which is a big plus. Um, but everything about it is almost exactly the same to the high detail. Probably the only difference between the high detail and the standard is that the spike on this test print is actually a lot more pointier at the end, while on the standard it is a bit straighter and thicker. So this is one of the models printed with the white PLA eSun 3mm filament. It's a robotic arm. Quality on it is reasonable. I've left in some supports just to show you how the supports print out. And they do come out relatively easy. And all the details on this, this has been printed in standard and it's all quite nice. I was quite impressed with it. Now for a couple of the negatives. The first negative, which doesn't really matter because it's easy to fix, is that quite often there's a bit of plastic sticking out of here which can catch on the reel when it unwinds while printing. All I've done is just cut it out, which is an easy fix. Now the second issue I've had with the filament is probably the more major one, which you can't fix is that it can be really fragile on certain parts of the reel. Like that. Um, my printer, Lulzbot Mini, has broken it just by the printing head moving around doing a print, and that's just been enough friction and tension to cause it to snap while printing, and of course, that's a failed print. It's been happening probably once a roll, maybe at the maximum, but it is still annoying. If you've set a print up for 10 hours plus and it's stuffed up while you're not home, obviously, that's a big negative. Do I recommend to buy this filament? Yes, only reason being the pricing point. Um, as a starting out filament, we're only just starting out in the 3D printing world, it's been quite good. Just the fact that we, when we design something, it's often crap anyway. And if we're gonna spend $80 on a roll of filament and do three prototypes before we print out, every design we make is gonna be very, very expensive. So as a prototyping filament, it's quite good. Anything we want a final finished product on, I think we'll be going to something a bit more reliable and quality. As a score out of 10, I'd give this filament an eight. Reason being, again, the pricing point is really good. The quality is rather good. Uh, just the negatives being that it can increase failure rates, which is a bit annoying, especially on larger prints, and probably actually how frail it can be in a finished product. If you've got to do anything under stress with this filament, it's probably going to snap. Now, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe down below and leave a comment and we hope to hear from you. Have fun.